Have you ever wondered why your machine learning model performs poorly with real-world data? It's a question that's baffled many a data scientist. Picture this, you're developing a machine learning model. During the training phase, everything seems perfect. Your model is achieving high accuracy, it's predicting outcomes flawlessly, you're thrilled. But then when you introduce new unseen data, the model's performance takes a nosedive. It's no longer the superstar you thought it was. This is a common conundrum in the world of machine learning, and it's crucial to understand why this happens. The performance of a machine learning model isn't just about how well it can memorize the training data, but more importantly, how well it can generalize to unseen data. And often poor performance can be attributed to two main culprits, two phenomena that can make or break your model's effectiveness. So what could be the reason behind this? Let's delve into two key culprits, overfitting and underfitting. Imagine having a model that fits your training data perfectly. Sounds great, right? But what if it's too perfect? Now let's dive into the concept of overfitting. Imagine studying for an exam. You memorize your textbook word for word, but the exam asks you to apply the concepts you've learned. You might struggle, right? That's exactly what an overfitted model does. It memorizes the training data so perfectly that it fails to perform when faced with new unseen data. Just like cramming all the facts won't help you understand the underlying principles, a model that's too fixated on the training data can't comprehend the broader patterns. It's like an actor who's so engrossed in memorizing his lines that he forgets to act. This model might seem ideal initially, but it's like a house of cards, collapsing when faced with the slightest variation in data. So, overfitting is like cramming for an exam, but what about underfitting? Ever tried to explain a complex concept in overly simple terms and ended up missing crucial details? That's underfitting for you. Underfitting is like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube by only making right turns. It's an oversimplification of a problem, where our machine learning model is too simple to understand the underlying patterns in the data. It's like a student who can only grasp basic concepts but stumbles when faced with complex questions. Imagine trying to predict the weather using only the current temperature. Such a model would be too simplistic to consider other critical factors like humidity, wind speed or atmospheric pressure. It's underfitting the problem, ignoring the complexity of the situation. So what's the consequence? The model performs poorly. It doesn't just fail on new, unseen data, but also on the training data itself. In essence, underfitting is like understanding only the basics and failing to grasp the complexity of the subject. Now how do we solve these problems? The key to a good model lies in the balance, avoiding both overfitting and underfitting. This balance isn't about perfection, but rather about creating a model that effectively learns from the data, while also generalizing well to new unseen data. It's a tightrope walk between the overly complex and the oversimplified. One of the best techniques to achieve this balance is cross-validation. By partitioning your data into subsets for training and validation, you're better able to assess how your model will perform on unseen data. Regularization is another technique that can help by preventing your model from becoming too complex and thus overfitting the data. Choosing the right model complexity is also key. Too complex and you risk overfitting. Too simple and you risk underfitting. It's a delicate dance and one that requires careful consideration and continuous adjustment. Remember, the goal is to create a model that learns, not memorizes, and can apply its learning to new unseen data effectively.